The king is dead and we have a queen. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. My name is Mr. Kev. I know I have been missing on social media platforms for a while now. But yes, if you are new here, please subscribe. I make a lot of such contents that are interesting maybe. You might find it interesting. You might like to have a conversation with me and I always respond to your comments. Let's get started. I had mentioned how much of an influence Chadwick Boseman has had on me in my previous video. Last time I addressed I'll link it over here. This uh, movie is a beautiful send-off to Chadwick Boseman. An amazing experience. I was holding back tears, streaming out of my eyes. I was hoping that the person sitting next to me doesn't get a hint that I'm just weeping. <laughs> and <laughs> that was my experience, dude. Because of the attachment I have. This is not... This probably might not be the greatest film ever. I will not, never say so, but... What it's done for me personally, like my experience of this film has been something that made me get back in front of camera and talk to you guys. I find it important that I need to express my gratitude to the makers of this film. It's very interesting that in the world political order, we are seeing a queen's death and a king has come into prominence. And in a movie like Wakanda Forever, something opposite happens. It is beautiful to watch. I found all the actors delivering every line with compassion. A lot of work went into minute details in the film. The new character, Neymar, is beautiful. They have done a great job of it. A lot of people online have been talking about how the character doesn't have a lot of weight. But by the end of the film, you'll know that Black Panther is not just an action film, but here on where the story progresses would be more on the lines of something like Game of Thrones, where there is a lot of alliances formed and some of them break the alliances. Those are things I felt we are seeing, like in parts, this film talks about because it's for kids. It's meant for kids. It's meant for kids to be inspired, feel like they are a part of something bigger at the same time, because you are being represented, that representation on screen, of course, a lot of people talk about it and it's very important. There are a few things that I found funny because I had read a few reviews, I had watched a few reviews about the film and a lot of people talk about certain things, certain aspects of the film. And I wanted to address those. A lot of people didn't want this character called Riri Williams, they felt it was shoved in. Yes, there is a certain part of it feeling like it is shoved in, but I thought it was a very good pacer for that film. Black Panther has been a film like that. A lot of people were, uh, were even nitpicking some of the jokes in the film. Even the first Black Panther was quite serious, but handled uh, humor quite well. Even the negative characters make uh, humorous moments during intense moments. Hey, auntie. All these people are mourning their loss. At the same time, they are also experiencing other emotions. It's not like people are one dimensional or they have only one expression, one emotion, right? You have multiple emotions and there are times when you will set aside what you have in your heart and then you will think in other directions. And I think in realistic terms, that feels well done. That character is mourning, but it's not like they're crying all day long because yes life needs to move on we need to move forward we need to look for the next day these people have done a great job of that and if you feel riri williams isn't a good fit into that film or it feels like it's shoved in i don't know i i, I will have to disagree with that next i want to address is uh neymar a lot of these reviewers keep talking about neymar well portrayed of course but not an impactful villain like before. Yes, because this is not a villain villain. This is a character who is like an anti-hero. I have these thoughts sometimes. And, you know, sometimes I mourn a loss of a person. Maybe a year or two down the year. And I, I have that experience of like letting it out. And the mourning process is different. Dude, they described it so well in this film. Some things hit you later in life, just like childhood trauma. 
right now my respect for someone like Ryan Coogler is i thank you and your team dude i really felt good watching this film and i hope to be catching it again and again and again and i hope it brings comfort to a lot of people dude because that's what this film does really well it brings a lot of comfort to people who don't necessarily get that especially facing such a situation where chadwick passed away and he had to redo the entire script redo his entire perspective and having to juggle around all these things and managing to pull it off i i just finished it man I, my my last conversation with him was calling him asking him if he wanted to read it before before i uh, got notes from the studio that was the last time we spoke and and yeah so i you know he he passed maybe a couple weeks after i finished what did he say when you asked <clears> him <throat> yeah man you you going to uh give me a sec My bad, bro. My bad. Uh, what? What do you? What do you? It's all good. What? What do you say when I when I asked him? He was tired, bro. Also, Shuri, man. What? What acting, dude? So you are experiencing that film through Shuri's perspective. And if Shuri wasn't a good actor or wasn't given to even a mediocre actor, it wouldn't have worked. Man, mad skill to step up. and take up that challenge dude i mean if i were uh, i'm forgetting the actress's name if i were her i would have backed off that isn't something i want to be able to carry on my shoulders especially with the kind of nonsense we are get, being fed on the internet with a lot of oh it's a feministic take or whatever man i didn't feel all that shit who cares dude why why are you bothered with this shit as far as i'm concerned when i'm going to a film or when i'm watching a film can it is it capable of telling me a story is it capable of giving me a different kind of an experience or an experience that i enjoy that's all i care about who cares why, why you bother about that i think that taints you, your experience you're basically shielding yourself from having a wonderful experience when you jump into a film having a uh, an agenda already or having made up your mind already about it that's about it thank you guys uh that said you'll see my face a little more than you've been seeing me in the past few months it might get tiring but i'll just say please keep watching please keep uh, listening and commenting because i would like to hear your opinion about these things thank you for supporting me you can find my patreon link down on the comment section i mean on on the description you can also watch some of my other videos which will pop up here and here oh yeah and if you click over here on my face you can subscribe thank you guys hit that like button share that would be great all i want is